Hello guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did this good vacation, good vacation, <laughs> good vacation picture makeup look for you guys. First of all, I just want you to know that I'm proud of you and congratulations to you for surviving all of the sleepless nights and stress because of school. You did a good job and of course you have to look good on your graduation pictures because your mom's gonna be hanging that on the wall. So if you wanna know how I did this, then keep on watching. If you have a silicone based primer like Benefit Pore Professional or Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, then use it because that will make your pores appear smaller so you will look flawless on your cat pic. But since I don't have that, I will just go straight to my foundation. I'm just gonna be using the... What is this? I forgot, wait. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And I'm just using a damp sponge to blend it on my face. So now I'm just gonna fill in my brows and I'm just gonna skip this part to save some time and I'm taking this concealer just to clean up the sides of my brows and also I'm gonna be priming my lids with it. I'm just gonna take this shade from the Morphe 35O palette just to set the concealer on my lids. Then I'm taking this light brown shade from the palette and I'm just gonna put that on my crease and on the outer part of my eye. Then I'm going in with this medium brown shade right here and I'm just putting that on the outer part of my eye and my crease as well. And I'm just taking this very subtle highlight shade and placing that on the inner half of my top lid and I'm just blending it out with my finger. <laughs> then I'm using that to highlight my brow bone as well. Then I'm just taking this grayish brown shade using a pencil brush and placing that closely to my lash line. Then I'm just taking this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and realizing it's very tagpala and I'm just gonna draw an upside down triangles under my eyes and I'm gonna be placing that on my forehead, the bridge of my nose and my chin. Then I'm taking that sponge again and blend that out. Then using the same concealer, I'm just spot concealing my blemishes and I'm gonna blend that out with the dump sponge as well. Now I'm just setting my under eye area with the RCMA No Color Powder using my dump sponge again and again and again. And I'm also setting my nose, the center of my forehead, and my chin. And I'm just setting what I've spot concealed with a mixture of two powder foundations just to add more coverage. Then I'm just taking the shade from this contour palette to contour my nose and realizing I have more. <laughs> I'm just using a flat blending brush for this. Then I'm taking this yellow shade to clean up the contour a bit. I'm going in with this light brown shade from the Morphe 35O palette again and I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line just to add some shadow right there. Then I'm going in with the shade right here using a pencil brush and apply that on my lower lash line as well. Then 
then I'll take this highlight shade again and place that on my inner tear duct and I'm dragging my finger on the inner half of my top lid and I'm also gonna apply that on my inner lower lash line as well. <laughs> to brighten up that area, you know. Now we have something like this and I'm just taking this black eyeliner to tight line my eyes just to make the lashes look more fuller, I guess. Now I'm just curling my lashes. Checking if the curler caught my lashes because I'm anxious. I'm taking this Jordana Best Lash vol Volumizing Mascara and I'm taking the excess product on the wand because it dispenses so much more than you need and I'm just carefully coating my upper lashes and lower lashes with it. <laughs> then I'm just taking another mascara, this is the Chaville Curling Mascara and I'm just using that to separate my lashes and it's already dried out. Then using this NYC City Proof Bronzer, I'm just bronzing up my face with a big fluffy brush. From this blush palette, I'm just taking this shade right here and I'm just rolling the brush on the back of my hand to take off the excess pigment just to make sure that I don't end up applying a lot. Now I'm taking my favorite highlighter, the J Cut You Glow Girl Highlighter in Moonlight and applying that on the high points of my face, on my cheekbone, on my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and my chin just to give me some glow. For my lips, I'm just taking this lip tint from Super Beauty in the shade Darling and I'm just applying that on my lips and topping it off with Maybelline's matte lipstick in the shade Touch of Mood and we are done! I know we are not done yet. I'm just applying it with a lip brush because mine's kind of melting off, I don't know why. And I'm just taking this infallible pro spray. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it in the description box below and I almost forgot the step. I'm just setting my brows with a clear brow gel. Oh my god, it's so noisy outside. I'm really sorry. So that completes this video. I hope you find this helpful. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also click the bell button beside it so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! First.